In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step process on how I configure the ASA firewall as well as other networks directly and indirectly connected to this firewall. If you want to know the configuration of the switches shown initially, see my video How to Configure Inter-VLAN Routing with Trunks and Ether Channel on Cisco Layer 3 and Layer 2 switches. As you can see, I'm drawing this schematic to make it easier to configure the firewall. On the Cisco ASAV firewall, create a user account Cisco, password Cisco Privilege 15. Configure the interfaces, assign names, security levels, IP addresses, and no shutdown to turn them on. Configure HTTP server to manage the firewall from the outside using graphical user interface ASDM and then save the configuration. Add a layer 3 switch in XOS, configure the interfaces, and a route to the firewall inside interface. Save the configuration and then switch back to the Cisco firewall. Configure ICMP policy to be able to ping outside. Configure static routes for non-directly connected networks. Default route to the internet. Route to the Windows domain controller, DNS, DHCP server. Route to VLAN 10, Route to VLAN 20, 30, and 40. Note, directly connected networks, routes are added automatically to the routing table. At this point, ping the internet gateway before creating a NAT.
you should not get a reply from the internet gateway. Then configure NAT to allow all hosts from the inside and DMZ access the internet. To do this, create network object definitions for all the inside and DMC subnets and then configure dynamic NAT that will port address translation these clients. Remember that we are coming from a network with higher security level, therefore there is no access restriction. You will need an access control list if accessing from a lower to a higher security level, which will be shown in my next video, configuring our DMZ by allowing outside clients access the web server. Perform a quick test by pinging the internet default gateway and by using Firefox, browse Google and Yahoo. Stay tuned for my next video on how I configured and implemented the web server, Windows Domain Controller, DNS, and DHCP.